Hey YouTube, King Cobra JFS with another video. And um I had a YouTuber contact me about making another documentary, to say the least. And you know sounds good to me, but you gotta be sketchy about these kinds of things. So wanna go ahead and give this person a call. Um let's see if I can find Call this person up and see if they're legit. Well, it's a little late to be doing that, but. speakerphone. Hey, this is uh, King Cup with JFS, man. How you been? Hey, man, I'm doing great and a whole lot better ever since you called me, man. How you doing? Alright, just uh, chilling like a villain, you know. Right? Um, I did, yes. So what do you think, man? I, I, I was actually gonna be typing up a late well now that you responded, I was looking to give you more of a layout on how things would be filmed and kind of of course we your hand 100% in the whole project and yeah so if you want to start uh, if you want me to start uh, doing the whole production list and everything you got to go through to kind of make it a, a professional and a, kind of like a time frame yeah, uh, if you give it the green light definitely start working on it and uh, just the, the pre-production kind of stuff and um, yeah, sounds good to me. I mean, your last one was great. I mean, I mean, it could have been better. I mean, coming from someone who does this stuff for a living. It, a lot of that was like short-term notice and last minutes and all that, so. Yeah. And, and it, it just seemed that there's so much about you and so much about where you live that there's a story to be told. I think it wasn't captured properly, and I think we could definitely broadcast it to a lot larger audience. I'm saying that's what you want. I'm, I'm no fame and a following isn't all you want, but I think being accurately depicted in a better light is probably something that would be beneficial to you and your channel and your music and everything else that you do. Know. Yeah, that uh, doesn't sound too bad of an idea, actually. So, let's see. If you want to give me the green light, just to start writing some web timeline stuff up about things that would be discussed, um, just in-depth topics, stuff about your music, something to really organize it. Just want me to real roughly work on that and kind of bounce you back to you, you, see how you like them. Um, maybe uh, we could go from there or... Yeah, that sounds great actually. 
you know, the focal point should, should be my music after all, but yeah, that's not a, a uh, good idea. Okay, um, who, who you, uh, do you mind me asking how the last people went about and did your, your quote-unquote documentary and is, is how that all out. Well, they they contacted me on yeah they uh they contacted me on YouTube and then asked to meet with me here in in town and stuff and we met we met and um we just sort of went from there and filmed on location basically. And was it like just a one day? Well, it went for a couple of days actually, but then um they had some last minute stuff they had to t t take care of and. So one of them, I think, got like sick or something. Had like the cold, and they had to cut it short. And there wasn't enough time to fully, you know, film and stuff. So. Yeah. Well. Yeah, you can tell it's such from a train dive from my point of view. It seemed very rushed. It didn't tell your story. Um, I could even see a lot of points where it's kind of a bit antagonistic to your character. Um, not too organized, not hating on it. I mean, I love to look and act like your your day to day life and just stuff like that. I mean, I'm a big fan of the documentary, but so much so that I want to take it upon myself to make a legitimate the story of part two, so to um, speak. Josh Sanders. What's that? Uh, Josh Saunders, yeah, part two, so to speak. Yeah, part two. It could, it, we could do the part two, or we could just completely come out with a brand new, I guess you could say, brand, and then part two could just be technically the, the prequel to it all, you know what I mean? Yeah, sounds good, yeah, man. This could, this could be a lot more in depth, and we could definitely go a lot more direction. Um, I can tell there wasn't a lot of pre-production on the first one, so this isn't something that would happen in a couple weeks or, you know, a month. You're going to have to do a lot of contact between me and you on the telephone on our YouTube, kind of me shooting my ideas at you, getting your feedback so we can completely make this your own and not like someone, a crew's coming in completely picking you and other in light that's really not you, you know, just to have your hands in it as much as possible. So it's going to take, again, a few, I would say at least a couple months of pre-production and a lot of contact between one another. And, um, I guess the first thing would be for you, is, um, you got to come up with the title, man. For sure. So it doesn't have to be right away. Something maybe to sleep on. Yep. Um, but when, let's get this thing in gear. I'll let my people know that you actually contacted me. So we're going to be pretty excited about it, man. And, uh, it's just so you know for the... Yeah. I was just actually talking about yeah. the thing I'm going to be doing. And I didn't know what it was. And here I a call from Casper and I knew it was the cover right away. <laughs> it's just so you know, you're on YouTube right now. I'm filming a video, so just so you don't like freak out when you see the poster or anything. Oh, that's fine. Hey, yeah. what's up everybody? You know, the cover deserves the right time. Uh, he deserves to be put in the limelight the way he deserves to be. So... Say whatever they want, man. It's a real documentary is going to be coming out. So, not hating on the other one. You know, the other one was fun to make and stuff. You know, it's just, yeah. You know. What's that? So, I'm not hating on the other one. Just you know, delays oh, and stuff. Not. You know, yeah. I just don't think it was said me and a few other people to do like your videos and see for what you're worth. Um, all agree that you deserve a much better documentary. Like I said it again, I'm not knocking on the other one. Yeah. Just a lot of things seemed rushed, and 
kind of weird, but it um, kind of caught me off guard with this call, but I'm really happy so far. So I'm kind of, like, I don't know what to say, dude. That's quite all right, man. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry if I didn't get back to you soon enough. I just get a lot of, you know, I get a lot of troll comments, and, you know, it's hard to see who's legit and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Come on, speaker, man. You mess with my boy Josh, and it's over. Man, I don't. Yeah, you're on speaker right now. Well, I'm sure your real fans will be looking forward to a much more in-depth, professional documentary about you. Um, their feedback is welcome. They could, if you want to, I guess I could text you my email, my personal email account, because that's the YouTube channel that I don't use for professional reasons. Once we do start this, you will see my professional account. All right. So right now, I guess I could give you my email. Um, got the King Cobra fan. Be more than happy to send me your feedback. Trolls will not be fed. Um, so don't even waste your time. I mean, I know you're still going to, but this is the real deal. And with uh, whatever cover, the link cover posts for my email, go ahead and shoot me some ideas. Let's get this thing started. I'm excited. All right. Sounds good, man. Got anything else for me, bud, except for uh, the sleep on the title? Well, as far as titles go, I guess maybe like, King Cobra, the, the real story behind the scenes or something like that, you know. Yeah, you know, I had, uh, oh, here's one, it just, it kind of see how this relationship's going to be for the next couple months. One that I thought of originally was Gothic's King Cobra, and then maybe add like a little sentence under that, like Gothic's King Cobra, a true look into the mind of Josh Saunders or, you know, something like that. Yeah, again, that's something, you know, to sleep on, think about, and communicate back and forth and stuff. But, yeah, it sounds pretty good so far. Man, that's awesome. Really, really exciting. You've got to keep up here in the bar and keep in contact with me because a quality product takes a lot of pre-production, man. So we're starting on this right now, I guess, so. Thing. Cool, cool. I hope you're excited as well, man. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, is there uh, anything you, anything else you have for me right now? No, none that I can think of at the moment. Well, dude, to you and all your awesome oil, the oilists. Well, you guys have a good night, man, because uh, a lot of good things coming in store for everybody. All right, man. All right, bro. All righty. Hey, uh, let's see. You guys sleep on that? Yeah. Uh, act me in the morning. Is this a good number to reach you at? Yes, it is. All right, man. Well, let's say my name's Matt, dude. Me and you are going to get to know each other a lot more, and uh, let's get this thing going, all right? All right, sounds good, man. All right, dude. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Bye-bye. Right. <laughs> well, how about that, YouTube? Um, second documentary in the making. That's what's up. You know, I didn't put a bunch of content on YouTube and bullshit for a couple of years on YouTube to get where I'm at today. So there's a good chance. You <coughs> excuse me. There's a good chance you might see me in a second documentary for sure. Now that we're getting. Um, under wraps with the uh, production of sorts. So, awesome. So, yeah, you know, and, you know, I get these kind of contacts, and sometimes I kind of wonder if they're legit or not, but a second documentary is a good chance to boost my fame and become an even bigger icon on YouTube. So, fuck yeah. You know, so I'm glad to see that this person is legit, not just some, you know, judging by what I've heard, you know. So, cool beans, man. 
you know. I did bullshit on YouTube for a couple of years, making random ass videos to get where I'm at today for nothing, you know what I'm saying? So. But, um, yeah, I just pulled my comforter out of the dryer. It's good to go. It's nice and clean, so. Um, but, yeah. Just thought I'd, uh, share that with y'all. <laughs> and, again, I'm not hating on the original documentary. I just, you know, it was kind of cool to actually see that happen and to actually have it, another documentary being made. So, as of not right now, YouTube... I know the Gothic King Cobra documentary is in the making, so stay tuned and stay posted. So, this will be pretty fucking sweet. I'm looking forward to it. Won't be long now, I'll be getting Emmy Awards for my music. <laughs> ah, what the future will hold, yes. So. You heard it firsthand, you know. So, so yeah, this is pretty fucking sweet. And I have two documentaries now. First one was sort of—it was a great documentary. Don't get me wrong, the first one, but you know, if the second one, what he's saying is true, you know, the first one will be like a taste. You know, the second one will be a full-on, you know, more behind-the-scenes sort of thing, you know, so, fucking sweet, you know, trying to become a famous YouTuber is not exactly the easiest thing in the world, but it is going to happen one way or another, you know, one day very soon I'll have a music video on MTV and that will be fucking sweet, I'll look forward to it, so, good things can come from this kind of thing, YouTube. Now keep in mind, I won't let this inflate my ego by any means. I'll still keep a level head. Yeah, I'm not going to let this all go to my head, obviously. But at the same time, you know, it's, it's kind of cool that people actually want to get to know me a little bit better. They all just want to see the YouTube and the first documentary. That, you know, they, they want to go beyond that and go deeper and stuff, so... It actually um, rained on me a little bit when I was walking home from the bar, believe it or not. So. So it's been, you know, a dream of mine to become a rock star and to be able to play my music on stage and what have you. And more people are coming out of the woodworks, so to speak, and actually want to film me and document me and stuff like that, you know. That actually means a lot, so. Awesome. So, people want to film me for their next project. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> so, we are officially in the pre-production of the next Gothic King Cobra documentary. Oh, this should be fun. <laughs> uh, So, this will be cool for sure. You know, I wanted to make sure it was legit and get it for record, on record, you know what I'm saying? So, that's what's up. Yeah. 
Anyway, this is King Cobra JFS with another video, and um, I thank y'all for watching, and uh, see y'all later.